Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense, Brayer, Zaitsev hybrid variation, 11.NBD2BB712.BC2RE813.NF1BF814.NG3G6. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop must choose between exchanging and withdrawing. Ba4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. Nf6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. b7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. 1 rupee centralizes the rook and protects the e4 pawn. b5 gains space on the queen side and forces the bishop to the b3 square. bb3 is forced, but the bishop is well placed because it attacks the f7 square. d6 defends the e5 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. C3 prepares the d2-d4 pawn break and clears the c2 square for the light squared bishop. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. H3 prevents black from developing the light squared bishop to g4, which would pin the knight and make it hard for white to play d4. Nb8 retreats the knight in order to relocate it to d7, black plans to fianchetto the light squared bishop on b7 and doesn't want the knight to block it on c6. D4 attacks the E5 pawn, controls the center and opens the diagonal for the dark squared bishop to develop. NBD7 develops the knight toward the center, defends the E5 pawn and keeps the A8H1 diagonal open for black's light squared bishop. NBD2 develops the knight toward the center and protects the E4 pawn. Fianchetto move BB7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. BC2 retreats with the bishop to defend the E4 pawn. Re8 moves the rook to a central file and frees the f8 square for black's pieces. Nf1 maneuvers the knight toward the king side and prepares to play either ne3 or ng3 while also opening the diagonal for the dark squared bishop. Bf8 retreats the bishop to defend the king side and unblock the e file. Ng3 activates a knight and overprotects the e4 pawn. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g7 where it will sit on the long diagonal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is the last book move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to make a passed pawn. It is ideal. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. It's all right. That's good. Very precise. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. Backs off. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. By doing this, 
a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This disregards a superior method of strengthening a weak pawn's defense. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. That's good. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. This ignores a better way to offer an equal trade of pieces. This permits the opponent to pin a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to pin a knight. This allows the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is ideal. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. It is quite good. This defends a knight who is being attacked and is not well defended. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to get something back. It is incorrect. This causes material loss. It is incorrect. This takes down a weak queen. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It is ideal. The rook was available for free. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This threatens to capture a trapped bishop. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This steps away from the checking knight. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game.